Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Miriam and I make videos about fashion and fitness. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's the red button below and it's 100% free. Today, we are not unboxing one, but actually two Balenciaga trainers. You guys, I've had these two boxes sat in my room for the last like three, four days and I'm a very impatient person when it comes to opening parcels. Like the minute I get it, I have to open it and I've been patiently sat because I wanted to unbox it with you guys. I have so many thoughts that I want to share with you guys and without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So this is the first one that we're going to be unboxing. So this pair of trainers that I'm about to show you guys has been sold out on Farfetch and also in the Balenciaga stores on their website for the longest time and I went to the store last week to pick these up and they didn't have it and you guys are probably thinking like which one am I talking about? Like, like I'm being really vague but you guys are about to see it in a bit and then whilst I was in the store last week I quickly searched up this pair of trainers on Essence and I don't know if you guys know but Essence is honestly amazing they always tend to have the most sought-after pieces in the rarest of size if you're a UK size 5 you will know that's like a US 7 I think that's the size that always gets sold out and if you're ever on the lookout for a very popular pair of trainers check out Essence I mean they're not as popular as Farfetch but they're as good super fast shipping it came all the way from Canada and it came in exactly one working day which is very cool I was really impressed and now without further ado let's get unboxing the pair of trainers This is really heavy and here we have the box. It's the classic gray sleek look Oh, I'm so excited you guys the struggle is real right now I'm trying to make sure it's in frame. So this is what it looks like on the inside once you open it up I feel like I don't know if these are the actual laces or like extra laces um, and the dust bag and, and Here we have it you guys the tracks Sneakers. I don't know if my camera is able to pick it up, but there we go. It's a white pair of trainers. It's the track trainers. You guys, this this pair of shoe is literally street style in a shoe. Literally. I'm so excited. Wow. It's been so long. It's been so long. I just quickly put it on for you guys. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I'm really struggling right now. <laughs> this is the pair of shoe. I'm very surprised that they gave me extra laces because I thought I was gonna have to like put them on myself, but the shoe came with laces. You guys, there's so comfortable they're actually so comfortable fun story when i was in the store the salesperson was just like yeah so these shoes are really in, in high demand it's been out of stock since christmas time and it's july now and he was just like it's only going to come back in stock um next christmas so i was just like when i was in the store he was telling me that it was like sold out everywhere like all around london and on farfetch etc and then the whole time he wasn't saying anything about essence and i'm like maybe he doesn't know <laughs> and when I was in the store that very moment when he said that he didn't think it was going to come back in stock until the next Christmas I was like listen I'm gonna go and check on Essence and Essence only had two pieces left in my size and I bought it so quick then there I will link these shoes down below in the description box to Essence's website and I think it's still available on Farfetch and a few other sizes I mean they'll definitely come back because it is a classic piece but right now if you want to buy it right now I'll try and find like links for you guys in case you guys are interested but this pair of shoe is literally straight style in a pair of shoe I mean I love it if this is your first time buying designer sneakers one thing to keep in mind is that you have to size down I'm usually a 38 in EU 38 but whenever I buy designer sneakers I always size down to a 36 and a half if there are half sizes or I'm a 37 but yeah I'm a UK 5 and I bought the 37 in this pair of shoe a little bit about me is that like every year I like to buy a pair of designer trainers that's like neutral like I like to have one pair of sneakers every year that's more or like a pair I can wear at like any time every day and like I don't really have to worry about keeping it in good condition like it's very like rough and tough and that's what I feel like with these trainers like they're so comfortable and they even give me a bit of height there is a bit of elevation and I'm just really excited to wear this like you know joggers or even like jeans or even like with some skirt it can be a vibe the ones that go past your knee you know like that kind of vibe that's bodycon and the second pair of trainers that I like to buy every year is one that's more like fun 
and loud and the next one that we're about to unbox is more of a fun pair of trainer and I wasn't supposed to buy two I actually only went into the store last week with the intention of buying one but then Balenciaga does do sales every now and then the next pair that we're about to unbox together is a pair that was on sale I think it was like 20% off so I was just like there's a sale and they have my size available. I went ahead and I bought it, but they didn't have it available in store, so they shipped it to me the next day. Shipping was also really fast. So here's the next box. This is not from Essence. This is actually from Balenciaga's own website. All right, guys, and it's the same box again. And this is what we bought. I bought the speed knits but the dramas at the bottom. It's got a pink lining and that's what I found really fun about this is that it's neutral. It's you know it's subtle but like it's chic because like there's pink. There's a bit of personality to it because it has a pink sole and I feel like on camera it's not coming up as bright as it is in real life. Like in real life this is really like a neon color and I'm so obsessed with this pair of shoe you guys. I mean the thing about speed knits is that like I like them because they're Really comfortable. I didn't want to buy the classic pair, like the one that's like a white sole, because like I wanted my neutral pair to be like more have a, like a different vibe and a different silhouette to it. That's why I went for the tracks. But I still love the speed net. They look really cool. And the reason I bought this is because it has like the pink sole, which I find really fun. I love to dress really neutral on a day-to-day -day basis. Like I love to be in like something like this and a pair of joggers and I'm out of the door. Like I love to be comfortable. And with this, it's like it's a very comfortable pair of shoe. I've tried these on and store it just has personality you know like it's got that pop of color which i absolutely adore normally this retails for 5.95 pounds but i got them on sale for 417 i think that was like 20 30 percent off but yeah i'm just gonna pop these on real quick for you guys as well all right guys and here's a pair of shoe you guys can see it fits true to size um this is the pink sole Good thing I'm flexible, right? I literally have two different pair of shoes on right now. So here are my two different pair of shoes on. These are the track trainers. They're so comfortable, you guys. And these are the speed knits. I can't play favorites, but this is just what we have right now. I mean, I love both equally, but for different reasons. This one, definitely for the pink sole. It's so fun. Yeah, I can't wait to style these, you guys. They're both insanely comfortable. I cannot wait. So these two pairs of shoes are going to be my go-to duo. Like one's my more chilled and neutral vibe. That's the track. And then one's more like fun. And I feel like my speed knits are definitely the more fun one. Before these two shoes, the duo that I was wearing was the Valentino Rockstead shoe that was like black and white. I'll quickly pull it up for you guys. So I was actually wearing this one like as my neutral pair of shoe every single day. It has a vinyl strap to it which I really like. That's why I went for these ones because of like the vinyl shiny bit. And I was also wearing the CC Chanel's this trio color. It's like red and blue. Red was my pop of color before and now it's more pink. I'm just really enjoying like pinks in general. Like pink is definitely like my color to wear these days let me know what you guys are on the lookout for what are you guys wearing these days what's your favorite color to go for in terms of trainers i would love to hear in the comments down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time bye